Hi, this is Rich Miller from Data Center Knowledge, and I'm here with uh, John Inaba from uh, Raritan, and he's going to talk to us uh, a little bit about the uh, DC track technology. John, thanks for talking with us. All right, thanks. Thanks, Rich. Um, what we want to show you over here is uh, our DC track product. And what DC track is, it's a data center, data center infra infrastructure management application. And what that does is basically allows you to control all the elements of your data center, whether they be uh, physical or virtual elements, including critical infrastructure, IT assets, as well as the networking space and the IP space within that, within that infrastructure. And so what, what DC Track does is it compiles all that information, uh, all that information, it puts it into a very easy, uh, easy to understand format, and really quite simply displays the interrelationships and the interdependencies between all elements of the data center uh, tools. So if you take a look at the screen here, what we can do within DC Track is take both a global view of a site, or we can visualize specific components of that site. And so as we look here, DC Track is basically taking a DWG file and being able to uh, really quickly, easily, and uh, efficiently show all elements of the data center infrastructure. And so when I mentioned about the interdependencies, what we're talking about is taking every single element, whether it be a power supply, a network port, a communication port, and being able to interrelate that via hyperlink back to the, uh, the individual components that it's connected to. In this situation, we have an individual power supply on a server connected to an outlet on a, a Raritan Smart PDU, connected to a uh, connected to a circuit, and connected to panel positions that are back in the RPP. The wonderful thing about the hyperlink connectivity is the fact that when you connect to a dot, we're looking at an RPP here. Once you connect to that dot, what you're going to see is actually a just as if you were standing in front of that device itself. So you'll see the panel positions, you'll see the odds on the left, the evens on the right, and it would be just exactly like you were standing in front of that device. The way that we talk about it within DC Track is a single version of the truth. And so when a technician or an IT uh, admin deploys a piece of equipment, all of that information is captured, it's validated, and so when a data center uh, manager wants to control the environment, he knows everything that he needs to know about weight, space, cooling, power, and uh, IP space. So what we're showing you here is actually the view of the panel position. I can simply back out of this, get back to the individual ports or the power, uh, power supplies. <laughs> Running it on my laptop so it takes a second to come up. So tell me a little bit about how you're, how all the data is being collected and where, where it's all coming from and, and how you're getting it into the, the, the software. Great. All of the data is being collected via SNMP. So what we're able to do is actually show real-time loads. So if you look at the screen right now, you're actually taking a real load off of the UPS, you're taking a real load off of the individual circuit, and you're taking a real load at each one of the individual component layers. The other thing that uh, DC Track does is it captures all the critical elements of a specific device. So here we have an HP ProLine DL60. Uh, we show that it's uh, uh, the, the amount of weight that it has, how many rack units it takes up, how many network ports it has, and how many power ports it has. And this is all information you're gathering from the vendors? That's all information that we're able to gather directly from the vendors. So the uh, Visio templates and the, uh, the different elements of, uh, of the uh, asset are captured directly from the vendor and can be modified based on the specific configuration that you have um, for that specific device. Some people may have uh, only a single power supply in order to increase efficiency. So most of the information comes from the library. So we have an extensive library, so you don't need to populate information like how many power supplies does it have, how many network ports does it have. You just need to make sure you capture how many are being used. Uh, because most of the information is available, like the weight of the unit, uh, even if it's rack or if it's uh, server, everything else is available. And why don't you tell us who you are? Oh, good question. Introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, I'm a sales engineer at Rarity. Okay, great. So, so to, uh, just to, to uh, interrupt real briefly, um, tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of companies are using this and, and uh, 
and what kind of uh, any particular industries or types of data center where you're, you're Great seeing question. good, good um, The folks that are using this uh, type of tool are anybody that wants to get a true control of their the physical assets and the IT devices within their data center space so that they can do effective capacity planning, effective uh, asset management, and effective provisioning within the space. Those are anybody that's interested in that, wants to use DC Track, and they want to use a tool like the uh, Raritan PX Power Strips so that they can get that essential power data so they can connect it through that entire power chain and provision effectively. Okay, thanks a lot, John. Thank you very much.